Hi guys, it's Jason from Rangeland RV and behind me is the all new 2021 Rockwood Geo Pro. This is the 20 BHS. Uh, this little trailer features a front queen bed with a dinette on the slide out, uh, two bunks for the kids and a nice kitchen and full bathroom setup. Um, measures 21 feet 2 inches and weighs just under 3500 pounds dry weight so it's a great suv towable trailer it's actually one of our most popular selling trailers let's take some time let's talk about some construction let's talk about some features and uh, let's get you down here to rangeland rv to have a look at this fantastic trailer so let's walk over to the front of the trailer and start i always like to talk about construction the rockwood is a very special product in the way that they build it this trailer is a full six-sided aluminum cage it's insulated with block foam insulation so every void in this trailer is completely filled you won't have any cold spots in the trailer and then it's laminated together using a process called vacuum bonding now one of the really great things that they've also done is they've replaced a wood wall backer which we typically call Luon with a product called Asdel what Asdel is is a composite wall board the composite wall board is much stronger it's a lot lighter with better insulation values but most importantly what our customers love it's water resistant Another feature on this trailer that you're going to see that really makes it stand out from its competition is a full molded front fiberglass cap with its automotive windshield. Not only great, but the real benefit to this is when you wrap a sheet of Lou or when you wrap a, sh a sheet of fiberglass around the front of a trailer, you're going to have a lot of tension at the top of the trailer where it's secured. When we do a molded front fiberglass cap, that cap fits snug over the front of the trailer. And as you're traveling down the road, there's no tension trying to pull it away from that seal, which is always a very common area where we see trailers leak. This is going to really help avoid having that happen. You'll see at the front of the trailer, we also have a power tongue jack and two 20 pound propane bottles, space for two six volt batteries. Now, what's great about having that space for two six volt batteries is the Rockwood GeoPros this year come standard with a 190 watt hard mounted monocrystalline solar panel. Last year and years previous, they used a 100 watt flex panel that over time can deteriorate. It's just not the same level of quality, nor does it give you the same amount of charging power. If you guys are really into off-grid camping, they've also still given you the solar on the side quick connect solar plug. The idea is that even with your almost 200 watts of solar on the roof, you can now plug in another portable solar panel and you can add extra charging power to your battery bank. The idea is that you can charge up your batteries and all that storage capacity during the day. So in the evening, when it's time to go to bed, if you need to be running furnaces, fridges, things like that, you have plenty of battery storage available for that. One other feature that they've added to the solar package, because it's an incredible package, is a thousand watt power inverter. So if you don't know what an inverter is, it's simply like this. You press a button and your wall plugs come alive, uh, converting your DC battery power into AC. So if you really love your fresh uh, cup of coffee in the morning, you don't want to be doing it over the campfire, you can plug in your coffee maker, make a nice pot of coffee to get your day started. Let's walk around and look at some other great features. Standard this year, which is another feature that we had such a huge demand for, is uh, the, <coughs> the Rockwood's off-road package. So this off-road package is gonna feature a three inch axle riser, so it lifts the trailer to give you extra ground clearance. They then put it on a 15 inch wheel with an all-terrain tire, so you get a more rugged tire, you get extra ground clearance, and because it sits on a torsion axle, you also get independent suspension on each one of those wheels. You'll see as well that we have the frameless bonded windows. They look great, but they also protect that inner seal. So normally on a regular RV window, your seal is exposed to the UV rays, to all the different elements. In the case of this trailer, it's hidden behind this window, so it won't deteriorate over time. It's going to keep that window sealed better. Uh, they've also changed this year uh, to a gas griddle versus the barbecue. Uh, people are loving this. So your griddle now, you can do some, uh, it's a flat top, it's a cast iron flat top. Plugs into a barbecue quick connect below the trailer. Now you can do your bacon and eggs in the morning. You can do burgers on the flat top, which a lot of people think is better than on a barbecue. And it even comes with a handy spatula and something to open your pops with. 
One other feature I love about Rockwoods, when you look at any Rockwood trailer, you're gonna see that they utilize the largest awning that they can possibly fit on their trailer. And if the trailer's too big for one awning, they put two on it. So you get, they what they do is they maximize your outdoor living space because when we're out camping, we wanna make sure that we're spending as much time as we can outside. This gives you an opportunity to set up a beautiful outdoor campsite. This awning is also has the Solera easy pitch option on it where you pull a handle down, it tilts your awning. So if it's raining, water will shut off to the side of the awning and not pool in the middle of it, damaging your awning. Let's walk around to the back and I'll show you a couple extra features. We have a black tank flush to clean out your septic system when you've emptied your tanks. We also have a ladder on the trailer. Another great thing, when you see a ladder on a trailer, it does imply that it does have a walkable roof and all Rockwood products have fully walkable roofs so you can get up, you can expect, inspect your roof seals, you can wipe that solar panel off when it gets dusty and you can do your overall roof maintenance very easily without having to pull a ladder out of the garage. Really quick and one of the features that's really popular on this trailer and a really good visual. Compare this bunk mattress to any other bunk mattress that you're gonna see. It's literally twice as thick as your standard bunk mattress. Kids get ripped off when it comes to the bunk bed mattresses without question. So this is the teddy bear mattress. It's ultra plush and extra thick. It's gonna be a great night's sleep for your kids. This is also what we call pack and place storage. So this bunk will lift up and out of the way so when you're in transit, you can have the kids' bikes in there, you can have your barbecue, things that you're gonna remove uh, from the trailer when you're at your campsite and bring the bunk back down to set up your kids' sleeping area. You'll see under there, there's also a ladder, which many trailers don't offer in their bunk model trailers. Let's head on inside and have a look at this trailer, some of the features inside. As we walk in, you notice right away the Murad drop down entry steps. They're super solid. I have a daughter myself and I know that when she was younger, we'd be camping and those under mounted rickety steps were always a, a issue of concern with me and her. So having these Murad solid steps, they secure to the ground, they're really steady. The lower tread is low to the ground, easy to step up onto and you have a large entry assist handle uh, at your front door as well. <coughs> All right, let's do uh, a little two-parter in here. We're gonna show you the front of the trailer and then we'll switch uh, positions with Al and we'll show you the back side of the trailer. So right away, you can see the all new decor package for GeoPro. It looks fantastic. It's kind of like a, a Beechwood style look. It's nice and light, so it takes a small trailer, brightens it up and gives you that impression that it's got a lot of space. You'll also see that front windshield in here also does add some extra light and create some extra space in here. We have UV roller shades. These roller shades are really nice versus, you know, a Venetian style blind. They're a slow rolling shade, so they won't go ripping up and, and around. But the nice thing about them is when these blinds are down, they literally black out the trailer in, entirely. So you can keep your trailer cool during the day. If it's a hot sunny day, you guys are down at the water, you come back to your trailer and it won't take long to flip on your air conditioner and cool the trailer back down. You'll see you have an entertainment uh, center here with Bluetooth, inside outside speakers. We have our uh, full uh, trailer control panel, which is gonna show your tank monitoring system. We also have, uh, on all of our GeoPro trailers, we add the 12 volt heat pad system. The idea is, is if you wanna camp into shoulder seasons, you guys like to ski, snowboard, hike in the fall, or start camping early in the spring, these 12 volt heat pads on each of the tanks are thermostatically controlled. You'll flip a switch, the heat pad will come on, and it'll ensure that your water doesn't freeze up. But it'll also ensure that it stops when it gets too warm. So on a thermostat, you flip a switch, you set it, you forget it, you don't worry too much about it, okay? We have a dinette on a slide out here that converts into a secondary sleeping area or another sleeping area. So this trailer can comfortably sleep six people. It's also a nice wide dinette for everybody to sit at. One of the features that I think everybody who's owned a GeoPro prior to this year wished they had was the big new sink. GeoPro always had a really small sink but now they've went to a much larger stainless steel uh, sink basin and it's certainly more usable for washing dishes. This trailer also comes equipped with air conditioning. You'll see a nice undermounted three burner stove with a tempered glass stove cover. The benefit of this is that in a small trailer with limited amount of counter space, we can flip this down, 
We can use it as a food prep area or we can put our tea towel out there as we're washing dishes as a drying area. We have a light and a fan here. And then what you're seeing here is the GoPower solar system. This is the charge regulator or the charge controller. This is gonna give you an indication of where your battery levels are at and what kind of charge you're getting from the sun. So even on an overcast day, you can still be charging your batteries. This indicator will show you at what rate you're charging them at. New this year as well, and I love it. GeoPro always had a much smaller fridge. They went to a large 12 volt fridge, um, which we think is unbelievable. We've ran a whole bunch of tests on this fridge and it works so efficiently. It also cools down almost three times quicker than what we call a gas absorption fridge. So the idea is this, when you guys are getting ready to go camping, you don't have to wait half a day to have your fridge cold enough to start putting things into. You can plug in, you can cool your fridge quickly and transfer your food into it and hit the road for a great weekend of camping. Finally, let's show you into the bathroom here. I'm just gonna switch places with Al. I'm gonna let you guys look in the bathroom. So as Al walks in, you're gonna see, um, Great bathroom with a foot flush toilet. Uh, nice medicine cabinet up top for storage of your bathroom items. Your high performance, fantastic fan, which will move 900 cubic feet of air per minute through this trailer and run off of 12 volts if you guys like to dry camp. But one of the features in this trailer and in all Rockwood trailers that the industry just hasn't quite caught up on is a, is a feature called shower miser. So you're looking at that blue tube and a little valve system. When you're waiting for your water to heat up, instead of it draining into your gray water tank and being wasted, what's happening is it's cycling back through your hot water heater in a loop. And now when you feel that your water's warm and it will be indicated by that blue tube turning white or gray, now you know your water's warm, you'll flip a valve over and now you'll start to actually use that very valuable water, especially if you guys like to dry cap. We're gonna be showing you lots of trailers over the next few days here. Uh, GeoPro, we're gonna show you the 19BH as well. If you guys are interested in seeing what Rockwood GeoPros have to offer, please stay tuned. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tune in or check us out at Rangeland RV.